Good morning, everybody. Welcome to Trans West Truck Trailer RV here in Frederick, Colorado. My name's Taylor, and we're going to be going over a 2022 Thor Omni. It is a XG32, and it's also a 4x4. So we'll start over here. We do have the aluminum wheels, and this is on an F60, well, 600, sorry, and it's an XLT. And it does have a Power Stroke Turbo Diesel with a 6.7 liter. I'll go ahead and show you the passenger side too. Very similar to a typical Ford's. You do have powered seats. And the safety on this, you do have an airbag in the front and on either side of each door. And then the camera system in here, you do have the side cameras along with the backup camera as well. We'll slide on down. Here is that side camera right here that you have on either side. So it will have those blind spots for you. And this is a fiberglass roof. And then here is our first bay for some storage. It is not carpeted, it's just plastic, and it has a little knob back there too, so if you get any water in there or ice chest happens to spill, you can just pull that plug and it'll drain. This is different than typical ones. It's not a latch, it's actually like a pool. I was searching for a latch this morning and I couldn't find it, so it's a nice little grab bar right here instead of having to find the ballpoint one. Now here is the door. Pretty standard, no doorbell or anything like that. Now we do have the outside TV with the remotes. And then right below it, just some more storage. Well, sorry, this is where the propane is. My apologies. And for the propane, it's 106, I mean, sorry, it's 16 gallons. And then you have some sockets right here to charge any of your electronics while you're out here tailgating. Here is the storage area I was getting to. Just jumping ahead of myself a little bit. Perfect. And this is for your water heater. It is um, electric or propane water heater and it is a tankless water heater. Here is our outside kitchen area, which is perfect for tailgating. And then you also have your little hookup right here to hook up your barbecue propane. Pretty good size mini fridge. You have a little sink and drawers and there's also a light in here. And then you have a light right here and then you have your little garbage disposal right there. So it'd be perfect to set up your barbecue and just get going. Right above, lock this. Here's your water connection. So you just fill your water tanks right here. The fresh water capacity is 75 gallons. And then your gray is 47 and the black is gonna be 40. So now that we're here at the rear of the coach, we'll go ahead and talk about the towing capacity here. It is 10,000 pounds. And then you do have a beautiful window, which is gonna be located in the bedroom. And then your backup camera is at the top right there. And you have a ladder to easily check your roof for any damage or if you add on solar. Go into the passenger side now. This is where we have the shore power cord stored in here. It is 50 amps, and then the amp plug-in is actually right here. So it is exterior. It's not going to be located inside of a bay. There's another connector for a TV antenna right there. This coach does have two fuel tanks. So the one that is rear, this one is 40 gallons and the one in front is actually 28 gallons. You just wanna make sure you do fill up both tanks, um, but they do flow. They are, well, they automatically go into the next once one is empty. Here's another storage area with a beautiful light on the right hand side. And 
And then here's another city water connection. All right, right here is going to be our wet bay. So here's our holding tanks and it is the pool valve. You'll just go ahead and connect your hose underneath here. And then you have your outside shower, which is really nice. So you could just go ahead and hose off your um, hoses once you're done dumping. So you could store them nice and clean in here. Oops. Here is another diesel fill right here for that first tank that's up front. out here there you go here's that tankless water heater I was telling you about that's either fueled on electric or propane it's nice having two options and then right here is the generator we are coming up to winter so you want to make sure if your coach is stored we want to go ahead and just fire up that generator give it some love at least once a month because um, they definitely want to be used otherwise you'll get stuck bringing it out next summer and it won't be working. All right, here is that last storage bay right here. On the driver's side, that other camera. And then right here you do have a control panel right here to just set in a code so you can unlock or lock from here if you forgot your keys. And now I'm going to go ahead and fire up the chassis because we do need the chassis running in order to open up our slide. Alrighty. Now let's go see inside. And I'll show you what it looks like with the slides closed before I go ahead and open it up. And the length on this is just over 33 feet and the width is just over eight. Alrighty. So as you can tell, this is with the slide closed and you have a perfect amount of space to walk through. I'm not doing the one step kind of maneuvering in and I can get all the way back here to the bathroom and then also the bedroom. So there is a lot of room get through. Now I'll go ahead and just open up these slides right here on the tablet. Let's go to this one and extend. Alrighty. Now that the slide's open, I'll just go ahead and go over this monitor really quick for you. So here's our fresh, whoops, here is the home button. It shows a little bit of everything on the home button. So you have your fresh gray and black, and then also LP levels. Here's your gen start and stop. And then you have some shades. You go down and this is for your battery charge. So you can check on your batteries. We got all the lights right here and the temperatures. So I did put on the AC starting to heat up here and then here is for that bed lift the fans to open or close that one full wall slide and then you also have your awning which was out and then this is just your control panel right here to change time dimness and other settings and you can also set up your mobile app here as well alrighty we'll start to the rear of the coach in the master bedroom so here's that beautiful window we saw on the rear. It does have that nice blackout shade. And then we do have some storage. And you also have a hanging rod right up here. So you can hang up all your fancy shirts on one side. And then we do have another storage area right here, which is perfect for some waters or anything that you need bedside. 
And then I love this beautiful shelf right here too, to put an alarm clock or just set up any chargers or anything right here so they're accessible to you while you're sleeping. And then we also do have the Splendid uh, washer and dryer. So it's an all-in-one right here in the bedroom. So you can just pull it out, fold your laundry right here on your bed. And then we do have some big drawers. Then going down, we have three more down here as well. And they aren't deceiving. They are very big and wide. Sliding on over here is another clothing rack where you can hang some more clothes and you do have a little light to brighten it up. And then the beautiful TV right here for you in your bedroom. And we also have the control panel right here for some lights and also a gen start and stop, which is nice to have in the middle of the night, especially if you're not connected to shore power. And then over here on the other side of the bed, you do have another spot for some storage. And then you also have a little radio system right here. This window can open for some ventilation. And then you do have some plug-ins right here and USBs. Sorry, there's some tape on that one, so it's covering it. And then you do have little lights right here. And then the surround sound for your radio. I'll go ahead and open these really quick just so you can see inside how deep they are. And they are through and through so you can storage things long ways as well. And the roof is actually um, the soft roof so it makes it nice and more appeasing to the eye and it also really helps with the sound from the outside. Makes it a lot more quieter in here. It's sliding on over so you do have two bunk beds the one thing i love about these bunk beds is because it comes with the little doors so you don't you can kind of hide them if you're not using them because you can just use it as storage if you don't have any kiddos coming along with you in the meantime and it just you don't even know it is a bunk bed so i love that the magnets are really strong but it does come with a little ladder and you have that latch so it's not opening while you're driving down the road. And you do have a beautiful window that you can open up as well for both bunk beds. So you can get nice ventilation in here. And you do have some charging outlets as well and a little place to hold tablets up there for you. All right, so this is a mid bath, but it's pretty roomy. I don't feel very claustrophobic in here. I can, def I can do circles and not have to worry about bumping into anything. The shower is a pretty good size too. It is made out of plastic. Whoops. And then you have the shower head that you can take off. So it's a lot easier just to hose down your feet if you're just coming in to do a quick little rinse to save water. Whoops. Go ahead and shut it and it does have a latch for you, which is convenient. And then you have some storage right here, perfect for some towels. And you have a towel hanger right here too to keep your towels dry after you're done using them. And then we'll slide over here to the medicine cabinet. Nice two mirrors and then you have a little extra hook that they added on here to hold another towel for you. And then down here you have some more storage right underneath the sink. And then you have little cubbies right here to hold some more, maybe some makeup or anything like that. So it's hidden away and you don't have to keep it in the bedroom. And then you have your water heater right here, your pumps on the other side, and then you have some storage right there. Perfect. Alrighty. You do have a full residential fridge, beautiful stainless steel. You do have the lock. Perfect. There we go. You could set the temperature up here, and then you have the big freezer. Perfect. Do you have one drawer right underneath the fridge, too? And then plenty of storage right here. This is perfect for a pantry. And then you can also add in some more shelves right here if you'd like after market to keep it nice and organized. 
And then you got five drawers right here that are all the same size that come out pretty far. Very beautiful. We'll flop on over to the kitchen right here. So it is a three burner. I absolutely love that because you can be cooking more than two pans at a time. And then you have the induction. So if you're running low on propane, you could definitely use electricity, which is nice. And then you have this microwave, which is convection as well. Beautiful backsplash. And you have some outlets right here. And then a window that'll open up for when you're cooking. There is some storage right underneath here and it pulls out. So this is perfect for pots and pans and it's right underneath here. So you can just grab and go, start cooking. You don't have to worry about them all getting thrown around while you're driving down the road. All right. <clears throat> here is the sink. So it is split, and then you do have these beautiful covers right here, so it'll make it for a nice prep area. Perfect. And then this does come out so you can clean the sink after you're done using it. Then you have plenty of storage space underneath here. And then you got this a little cabinet here to hold little knickknacks and then you got three big drawers down here for it being a thir 33 feet definitely has a lot of storage in here and you could sleep a lot as well so two four you could this also turns into a bed as well so you could sleep two little kiddos here with two more in the bunk beds and then you also have this big bed up here that can sleep up to two adults. Um, so you definitely have a lot of sleeping and storage so anyone can go. And then these windows do open up as well to kind of get you some fresh air. And then I'll just, here are the theater seats and you have a little storage right here too and the remotes are in there. And then for this bed, I do like how it kind of secludes the cockpit area, but also if you're not wanting to get out and go all the way around, this does come up and it flips over and it's pretty heavy. So then you can easily go ahead and get in there and drive. And then four, I did want to show you that does have a window right here and the shade so you can black it out when someone's sleeping under here. And then you do have the, the ladder right here. I love how it breaks down so you could store it. You don't have to worry about throwing the whole big ladder up here. You can actually go put it in a cabinet or something. All right, where did my hair go? Okay. Now we'll go ahead and jump in the cockpit so I can show you some things up here on the chassis. Alrighty, so this has thir just over 13,000 miles. So since it is a 2022, you do have some warranties that are still available. It's actually gonna be 60, whoops, 60 months or 60,000 miles for the chassis and then for, I'm sorry, the, for the powertrain and then the chassis is 36 months or 36,000 miles. So we still have that warranty on here. Uh, other than that, this is pretty standard just as a truck. You got your volumes here, you can make a call calls right here or mute. Some settings right here for the calling and then this is just a little control panel to show the dual tanks. So you have the front and the rear. As you can see one is on empty and then the other one is halfway full. Giving us a distance so we can go 139 miles which I absolutely love when I'm driving down the road. The oil life on it and then the lane keeping system got a temperature and it also shows your engine hours and your oil temperature you got your speedometer and then we're back to the tank levels we'll slide over here we have a little bit of storage right here perfect for sunglasses and then you do have the actual this is where your camera system is so this is a picture digital 
and you can change the settings and everything right here. Down here, we just have our typical dash. So you could do audio, calls, navigation, apps, and also change your settings right here. So you have Bluetooth as well, and then the navigation and your 911 assistance. Change here, we got our ACs, this little 12 volts right here airbag and then you have your glove compartment down here and then you have some more USBs and stuff down here for charging as well and then you have the cup holders and then this is nice and carpeted so it'd be easy to clean from walking across and then no slipping um, but other than that, that's what I have for you guys for our 2022 Thor Omni. If you guys have any questions, go ahead and give me a call at 970-388-7937. Thank you guys for joining. Have a good day.